This is breaking news from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Sponsored by Michael Gaughan's South Point Hotel, Casino, and Spa. The Consumite Trophy winner, Jonathan hey, Marsh. Is oh, yeah, come here. We also have his children, James, Victoria, Henry, and William. I feel like I love that, James. I would love Okay, this one here. And, uh, That's one. Where's the other one? Oh come in, you. I can't fly you. Oh, all right. Put it there. Whoa, hold on. All right. All right, that's quite the crew. All right, somebody has right, something? We'll take questions okay. for Jonathan, starting front left with Mike. Uh, Jonathan, Mike Russo with The Athletic. Uh, I mean, this right here has to be the, you know, the, the most special thing, to do this with your kids uh, behind this podium. And I, I talked to a bunch of your friends, uh, Yanni Gordon, David Svard, David Perron, Chase on all these guys, your best buddies, won cups back to back to back to back. And now for you to be here and then get to go to your Stanley Cup party, how cool will that be? Yeah, it's going to be an unbelievable feeling. Uh, obviously, those are they're, those guys that you said, they're winners, right? It's something that you can never take away from those guys. And uh, uh, now and all of us, the Golden Knights right now, we're all winners. And... Uh, it's going to be the best feeling in the world and to be here with my kids and my wife there. And I mean, I could never do anything uh, without them. So they're my motivation every day and definitely the happy and enjoy it with them. Left side. Danny Webster, Las Vegas Sun. John, when you look back at your journey, I don't, I don't even know if it's good to look at your journey since Vegas, but your journey overall since getting into the NHL, how would you kind of put everything, compartmentalize everything together now that you're a Stanley Cup champion and Conn's my trophy winner? Yeah, uh, it was a bumpy ride for sure. Uh, uh, definitely uh, a lot of hard work uh, was put in, and uh, especially through the past few years to achieve my goal. Uh, my wife was unbelievable, to be honest, and uh, you know what, like, you, you don't hear enough about it, how, how big they are in uh, in a, a career of a of a professional athlete, and uh, so happy to to do it. And there's a lot of uh, bumps and bruises along the way, and uh, it was just uh, just a great it's just a great feeling right now to 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 see my journey where where it brought me, and uh, that's something that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. Front right. Jonathan, uh, you and Jack Eichel had such incredible chemistry throughout these playoffs. Just wanted to get your thoughts on, on winning this with him. Yeah, I mean, first playoff, first win for him, right? It's pretty good average. <laughs> so super happy for him, honestly. we Ever since he came in last year, we were just a different team. And he's a game changer for a group. He's He's been unbelievable. And this trophy could have definitely went to him, too. And uh, uh, I could never have that without him and all my teammates and my line mates were unbelievable all along the series uh, honestly it was just a overall great package and uh, I'm really happy for him like uh, a guy a, a superstar like that gets so much media attention and uh, and he delivered so I'm so happy for him and proud of him for sure right side third row <laughs> Jonathan, sorry, the trophy's kind of in the way. <laughs> uh, I just want to ask you about your, your playoff journey here. Uh, I know that you struggled a little bit to score in the first the first series and a half, but can you just give me a thought on, on keeping with it and then eventually you knowing that the goals would come and the points would come? Yeah, I definitely wasn't happy with my first round uh, production, but uh, at the end of the day, we find a way to win hockey games, and uh, there's a bunch of guys that stepped up in the right time, and uh, it was just... I wanted to contribute and help my team win hockey games, but we were still doing it without me producing. So uh, that's kind of one one of the things that ha happened in the in this year's playoff. Is every round there's somebody that was stepping up and it was great. And uh, honestly, you don't get here just by one or two guys. You get here with a full effort of the organization, and uh, it's something we can really be proud of. Left side, second row. Uh, first off, congratulations on the cup and the con Smythe. Thank you. H how special was it to see you know you and the other five originals get that cup handoff from Mark Stone uh, in order? And did you know it was going to go down that way? Well, I didn't expect it, but I know that 
uh, Riley kind of came to me. He's like, Stoney's going to give it to me and I'll give it to you. So I was like kind of shocked a little bit because we have so much veterans in that locker room and guys that came in at different times in the past six years and have been huge for us. And uh, But it was definitely a great gesture uh, and something that will go down in uh, one of the classiest things I've seen. And uh, super uh, happy to be part of that for sure. We'll take a few more questions in English, front left. Danny Webster, Las Vegas Sun. John, I guess along those lines of classy gestures for Bruce to start you, Will and Riley, and Braden and Shea to start the game. And to hear that ovation is probably one of the louder player and trail ovations that we've heard in this building. Just what did that mean to you guys? Yeah, you know what? It was. It got me off surprise, to be honest. I didn't know we were going to start. And uh, it was a great gesture. It was just... Well thought. I didn't even think about it, and uh, it was super nice on his part. And uh, yeah, I mean, we've been here for six years. We and Will as well. And you know what? Like, we grinded. Like, we grinded. We wanted to get back at the feeling we had the first year, and to get back to the dance. And we know that this year, going back at it, things would be different. And uh, we definitely took a different approach, and uh, it was just fun to be part of it for sure. Take two more questions in English, right side, third uh, John, row. Jonathan, what has Mark Stone meant to this team, and what have you seen him go through uh, to get to this point with his health and everything? I mean, he's he's our leader, right? He's he's our guy. He's he came in the second year, and he was great since the first moment he came in. He was unbelievable, and uh, he's been such a great uh, a great uh, factor in every step of the way, uh, off the ice. And Henry, careful, buddy. Uh, off the ice and on the ice and for him to grind out last year the same thing this year the same thing he grinded and he wanted to come back and honestly like to him to get a hat trick tonight like uh, you can write it better than that right I mean it's just such a such a great comeback story and he's been unbelievable he's such a great human being to have around and couldn't be more happy for a guy like that for sure one more in English, front right. <clears throat> Thanks. Hey, Jonathan, Ryan Kennedy from the Hockey News. Um, how good do you feel for the city of Las Vegas and, and the support you've gotten from them over the years? Yeah, it's, it's been an unbelievable uh, ride for sure. Uh, even the first year, we had so much fun with the fans and at T-Mobile, the energy. We we got ranked the best arena to play in for, for a reason, right? So... Uh, it's been a great ride, and the fans, the community has been unbelievable since we came in. And uh, I remember Game Four; we wanted to bring it back home with a chance to win it all, and uh, and we did. And honestly, we our team delivered tonight. I mean, we, we we were dominating the whole game, and I was just so proud to do it in front of our fans. And uh, that's a moment that I'll never forget. And now we'll take one in French on the left side. Salut Jonathan, euh, pendant toutes les séries, tu n'as pas voulu t'imaginer gagner la coupe, tout ça. Euh, on a entendu, tu étais Mike Top, tu as dit à Brett Arden que tu avais une vision que tu allais gagner la coupe. Est-ce que tu peux nous en dire plus là-dessus? Euh, oui, mais c'est quelque chose que je ne sais pas pourquoi, mais je savais avant les matchs si on allait gagner ou perdre un petit peu. Puis j'en parlais à Brett, puis euh, c'était comme un petit peu notre rituel. Tu sais, comme après la Game 3, je me rappelle, je suis allé voir Brett, puis j'ai dit. On va gagner les deux prochains matchs. Puis il a dit, OK. Puis j'avais dit la même chose euh, après Game 4 contre Edmonton. Je dis, on va gagner les deux prochains matchs. Puis c'est juste quelque chose que j'avais vu. Puis je n'avais parlé un petit peu avant Game 3, mais je, je, je me voyais gagner la coupe dans mon gilet or. Fait que, tu sais, je, je sais pas pourquoi je savais qu'on allait peut-être perdre une des deux games en Floride. Puis. Euh, Ça ne change rien que je travaille fort tout le temps, mais c'est quelque chose que je sais pas. J'avais un feeling au début des séries, puis j'en parlais à Brett parce qu'on voyage ensemble pour aller à l'aéroport. Puis, euh, ah, je, suis, je suis sûr qu'ils vont m'en reparler <laughs> dans pas long. Thank, thank you for your time, Jonathan. Thanks for having me, guys. All right. Thank you. Oh. All right, buddy. You get down. Oh. Hmm? 
I, I don't know. Uh, Just want to make sure. Oh, we might have a broken trophy there. Just coach. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. What was the, what was the question, Dan? Cassidy. Cassidy. Not, not long. Uh, not long. No. Not, not long. Not long. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 We have head coach Bruce Cassidy. Please raise your hand. Wait for the mic. If you have a question for coach. We'll start on the left side, second row. Yeah, obviously Foley made his wish back when this all started, um, hoping to win this in, in six years, and now to be a part of that and lead this group to that fruition. Just how special is that? Well, just before I get to that, I do want to. Congratulate the Florida Panthers on a terrific season. Great playoff run. Um, did a lot of things well and um, bright future there, you know. But at the end of the day, uh, with Bill, he's ever done everything right here, I think. I think the players would tell you that. I'm only here one year, right? So, and he's treated me. I'm, I'm just really grateful to be given this opportunity and with him and Kelly and George. But 
you know, I'm out in Henderson a lot with my kids. I'm at CNA, and the, the, the game is growing here, and it needs someone to bring it here. And then you need to you have idols like the Marcia Sows and, you know, the Smiths and the Carlsons, et cetera. So uh, very happy for Bill. Um, what I didn't know right away when I got hired, he says he was going to win the Stanley Cup in year six, and I found out it was year six after I signed. So I said, all right, there's a little bit of pressure here, but here we are. Uh, so... Um, but like I said, I'm happy for Bill. He's a terrific owner. You know, he's, he's no pressure and he comes in and, you know, just lets you do your job and it's just wants what's best for the team. Congrats. Thank you. Front right, Greg. Uh, uh, George McHugh was talking about your relationship with Jack Eichel and, and how that relationship... Sorry? And how that relationship with Jack really blossomed and, and helped push Jack to the heights that he reached in these playoffs. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I knew a Jack a little bit from Boston. He skated with the, the Bruins in the summer. Um, his strength coach, or skating coach, is Kim Brandvolt, who's a good friend of mine, was our skating coach in Boston. We ended up hiring. I thought Kim is a terrific guy, and it told me a lot about Jack. So, But you've got to get into that player-coach relationship before, you know what I mean, to, to really sort things out. So we met right away as soon as I got hired. I thought it would be good. Sit down and talk. Here's what I, uh, my expectations are of our center icemen, particularly guys high in the lineup, and what do you what do you need from me? And let's kind of meet halfway. I, I just felt we were tied together in terms of coming here relatively at the same time. I know he was here a little before me, but he was injured, right? So this was a fresh start for both of us. So that's the way I looked at it. Let's see if we can do this together. J Jack has been super from day one. There's been no pushback in terms of what the ask was. And there's always back and forth dialogue, you know, about different situations, line mates along the way, maybe power play, ice time, whatever. But he's 100% on board. All he wants to do is win. All he wanted to do is win, and I couldn't be happier for him. And, you know, his parents should be real proud of him. He did a terrific job for him. And I know it was a little tough for him previous, his previous spot, so I couldn't be happier for him. He's a terrific guy. Ask his, just ask his teammates, you know, what they think of him, and that will tell you right there. Back right. Uh, Bruce, uh First off, congratulations. Thanks, Dan. Um, you tonight, I believe, had seven different goal scorers, and 15 guys had at least one point. Does it, and you're not going to score nine every game, but does that kind of define what this team is all about? I think so. I think it does. And it's different guys. Tonight, Stoney happens to get the hat trick, you know. First goal. It's huge for us. I mean, we didn't start great. And you could see a little bit of nerves, and Florida was on us, and we had a great save from Hill, and he comes to get shorthanded goal. So kind of let us breathe a little bit. Um, but after that, next man up, whoever's turn it is, and we, we've had that all year. Like Alex Martinez, Alec Martinez only scores in Stanley Cup finals, apparently. So, and, and, and what a timely goal that is. So now you got defensemen pitching in that, you know, are more stay at home, defensive minded guys. Nick Hag, you know, so. That's been our story this year. It's been a, I don't want to say next man up because that's such a cliche, but it has been about the team. It's been about the team, no matter who's in the lineup. Um, and, it, you know, right to the bitter end tonight. I think, you know, Marshy got the con Smythe. It could have been a lot of different guys. Not one guy carried this team. I thought everybody did their part, and I'm happy for Marshy. Certainly deserved it. Could have been a lot of different guys, and that's the story of our year. Left side, second row. Danny, what's your Las Vegas son, Bruce? Congratulations, first of all. Thanks, Danny. Um, obviously, I don't. I think it goes without explaining why you decided to start the five that you did tonight to start the game. But just, I guess, when did you decide on that? When kind of, what was the reaction in the room when you made that <laughs> my, call? My, my dog's getting dragged into this again. But I was walking my dog earlier today as we spoke about, you know, thinking of different things, and and I thought, you know, I'd be. I think a good way to get the guys' attention and reward the guys that were the original, you know, laid the foundation for this hockey team. I, I told I apologize to Will Carrier. Can only start one left winger, so uh, and I thought it'd be nice and see if it, you know, give us a little juice. And whether it did or not, I don't know, but they deserved it. And I think the guys respect that. They gave them the, the you know, they got past the cup first, um, and rightfully so. I think they're going to enjoy it. We're all going to enjoy it, but for them, it means a little more, right? They were they were in the final their first year, and they get a chance to go back. And as I said, guys that kind of laid the roots down here and have done a great job in the community, building Golden Knights, you know, brand and, and hockey in the area. So happy for them. On the left side, third row. Sergey Feldman, NHL.com International. Congratulations. Thank man. you. Uh, you see the, the players on the ice afterward with the families, friends, et cetera. It, it's clear that it takes a village to win. 
uh, it also includes some of the guys like the Black Aces of, of Patera, who's making an impact to the extent yeah. that he can. How special is it for those guys and, and the contributions that they make? Well, listen, they feel good about themselves. Um, I, in 2011 with the Bruins, I had all those extra guys, so I know it was like you're on the ice and you feel great and you're part of it, but you're not in the trenches, but you are a part of the team. Every guy that wore a, a Golden Knight sweater this year helped us get here, including, you know, you, you, you mentioned Pateri. He went to hockey games for us, you know, so if he doesn't, do we finish first, you know? Do we get home? You know, there's a lot that goes into it, little details along the way. Pav scored a lot of big goals for us. Paul Cotter, I think, had 13 goals. He played a lot for us. Phil, there's a lot of different guys that go into it. Huddy and uh, Pahal played in uh, the Winnipeg series. So we're, we're thankful we didn't have to use a lot of our guys because of injury, but they were right there, and they, they prepare hard. They give up a lot of their time, and they're still here, you know. So um, it's a bit of a thankless job while you're going through it if you're not playing but now it's all worth it right you're a champion and, and your name's in the cup so good for those guys <clears throat> take a couple more questions right yeah. side. hey bruce derek randy standardchat.com um just going back to jonathan rush so i know early on in the in the playoffs i know when, when he was at edmonton he was frustrated because he he wasn't finding the net and i just want to ask you about him sticking to that and eventually the goals coming and and doing what he did in, in basically the second half. Inside presence, I think it was game three up there. He scored two goals. Jack got him on the top of the crease on a tip, and I think there's another one very similar. So against Winnipeg, he, he wasn't getting to those areas. He was relying on his shot, and he slowly got there. And he got rewarded. He got rewarded, and then all of a sudden it snowballed. And it, the clinching game, he got, he got a hat trick, but one was at the top of the crease. I know one was on the elbow, but, you know, he started working inside a lot more. And... Um, between him and Barbashev going to the net and with a guy like Jack that can draw people to him, it turned out to be a really effective line because of that. So good for him. He figured it out. Uh, didn't get, it didn't affect the rest of his game and uh, gets on a roll. And I think there's stories every year when you, you know, when you win the, the cup of guys that get hot. You know, we, we were, listen, I'm going back in time here, but I was talking to Krim about it. It reminded me of Reggie Leach back in the day for the Flyers and just a guy that was just hot and uh, really helped us. <clears throat> One more question, right side. Coach, congratulations, Eddie Rifkin, Hockey Nights in Vegas. I don't know if you know that tomorrow is actually one year exactly since you signed your contract to come here to Vegas. I wonder if I'm you, going to celebrate. Uh, I wonder if you could just reflect, uh, re re reflect a little bit about your year. Well, listen, at first there's, you know, you're leaving a spot, you've been, it's been home to you for a long time, right? So it's tough on your family. Um, built a lot of solid relationships there, you know, people I still keep in touch with. But new adventure, we, we looked at it and get, once everyone settled in, I thought it was terrific. Uh, you know, it turns out, it's, you know, it could be the best thing that ever happened to me in my career. I mean, we win the Stanley Cup, right? Great group of guys, new, new challenges, come in fresh with uh, players I didn't know at all. So it was a... You know, you have to start relationship building, and I think that's important in this job. So family gets settled in. They love it here. Nothing but great things to say about Summerlin uh, and then the hockey team. So um, nobody lasts in one spot forever. So like I said, once we got settled in, it's been terrific. Uh, it's been a hell of a year, like I said. I think everyone plays the game to get their name in the cup, and we were able to do it, and I was able to do it my first year. And like I said, I'm very thankful and grateful that, you know, I ended up here and that, you know, Bill Foley, uh, and George found it that you know I could be a guy to lead the team. Thank you for your time, Coach. Thank you. <clears throat> Have a good night. No, I will. Take care. Dog is W I N N I E is the dog. W I N N I E. Thank you, Nate. That concludes tonight's media availability. Thank you very much. We'll see everybody at awards and draft. Thanks, everybody. on South Point Hotel, Casino, and Spa. You've been watching Breaking News from the Las Vegas Review-Journal, sponsored by Michael Gaughan's South Point Hotel, Casino, and Spa.